I'm Kelly DeBover, Senior Research Manager at NAI Hiffman, here to share fourth quarter results for the Chicago metropolitan area industrial market. The continued trend of quarterly market improvement made 2015 an outstanding year. Fourth quarter positive net absorption totaled 2.3 million square feet, driving the 2015 total figure to an impressive 22.3 million square feet, far surpassing the recent record high of 15.9 million square feet recorded in 2013. The overall industrial vacancy rate continued to decrease to the current rate of 7.24%. Nine submarkets are extremely tight with vacancy rates in the 3 to 6% range. Projects completed fourth quarter added 4.1 million square feet to the industrial inventory, which increased the year to date construction total to 18.3 million square feet and surpassed the 20 year annual construction average. The quarter's largest construction delivery was a speculative project in the I 80 Joliet corridor. The building was delivered 50% pre leased to Consolidated Distribution Corp. Projects currently under construction total 14 million square feet and include the largest build to suit transaction of 2015, 1.4 million square feet for an undisclosed food manufacturer. The company signed a lease for its distribution facility at the Centerpoint Intermodal in Joliet. To share additional fourth quarter highlights, I'm pleased to introduce NAI Hiffman Senior Vice President Sam Badger. The majority of larger fourth quarter lease transactions were completed by third party logistics firms from across the area. The largest new lease was signed by OHL. The 3PL committed to 672,000 square feet in the I-55 corridor. Other notable third party logistics lease transactions include SC Johnson Wax renewed its 432,000 square foot lease on behalf of its 3PL provider, Excel Logistics in Southeast Wisconsin. Excel Logistics renewed its lease for 420,000 square feet in the I-80 Joliet Corridor. And CH Robinson signed a new lease for 236,000 square feet in the O'Hare submarket. Investment activity in the Chicago industrial market was strong during the quarter, noted by the completion of several portfolio sales in addition to several large single property acquisitions. The largest single property acquisition was American Realty Advisors' purchase of a 604,000 square foot distribution building, which is fully leased to Midwest Warehouse and Distribution. In Northwest Indiana, a joint venture between Venture One Real Estate and DRA Advisors acquired a 574,000 square foot warehouse. The activity in Northern Illinois and Southeast Wisconsin has picked up, uh, especially in Northern Illinois. There seems to be a real run on buildings that are in the 75 to 150,000 square foot range, uh, coupled with you've got uh, vacancy rates that are continuing to decline. Uh, that is encouraging developers to put up some spec buildings, particularly in southeast Wisconsin, uh, anywhere from 200,000 square feet to on up to 600,000 square feet. 